Hello Libra, welcome to the channel, welcome to another reading. Uh, today's video is going to be all about what your person is thinking or feeling about you or the connection, what are their energies and overall intentions. So as always, it's meant to be a general love reading. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot, so thank you for the support. All right, let's get into this. How does this person feel about you, Libra? What are their thoughts or feelings about Libra? Ooh. Oh, okay. Put those back because I don't know they fell upright or reverse. So, how does this person feel about Libra spirit? Their thoughts or feelings about Libra or this connection. Oh, you got the Prince of Wands reversed. So something didn't get started here. The wheel reversed, possibly because it wasn't the best time or it was very uh, just bad luck. Things just didn't work out here. Your person's probably feeling like they screwed up with the prince uh well it's princess of wands in this deck but it's the page of wands person probably feels like they screwed up here weren't able to finish what they started um weren't able to get this moving what do they think what, what do they think about libra spirit how do they feel about libra better insight how they feel nine of wands wow interesting so your person i feel whatever happened between you when they think about you they think about possibly a lot of um baggage uh fighting being weighed down by a connection um, perhaps they're feeling guarded against you, trying to defend themselves, um, maybe even deceiving themselves about how they feel about you. Nana wants is someone that's been through a battle and they are worn out and exhausted, but they don't give up. So I feel like even if this is difficult for your person, whatever this nine of wands represents, whether it's something that's going on in their lives personally, something that went on in your connection, Whatever this is, um, your person's not giving up. We'll clarify that later on to see what other messages we can get there. So let's see, what else can we figure out about this person that you are dealing with, Libra? Any other messages regarding how this person is thinking or feeling? I'm using my homemade Oracle deck for this. Any other insight into how this person is thinking or feeling about Libra spirit? Any other insight into how this person is feeling when it comes to Libra spirit? Let's see. What else do we need to know about how this person feels about you, Libra? Past life connection. Interesting. So very strong connection that you have. Possibly you've had a connection in the past, or it just feels like you've known this person forever. Like you have a, a very strong um, attraction to each other. Anything else? No, that's way too many. Anything else for Libra? How does this person feel about Libra spirit? Any other insight about how this person feels regarding Libra or this connection? Finances are a factor, so that one did want to come out. So finances could be a factor here, keeping you, uh, it could be some sort of uh, interference in this connection. Perhaps your person feels like they need to be stable in order to approach you. Um, Oops, sorry, I hit the tripod. 
Um, maybe they're dealing with their own, like I said, their own battles. So let's get into this for you. What are this person's true intentions towards you, Libra? Spirit. What are this person's true intentions towards Libra? What are their true intentions? Person's true intentions. Of course, Libra. I'm using a deck by Barbara Moore. Okay, that feels good. What are this person's true intentions towards Libra? Ooh, we got the Ace of Swords. So they want to talk, communicate, um, clear the air. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. You know, this could be that finances card. Again, it's like this person wants to appear to you as a very stable, um, independent person, someone that has it together. Um, perhaps this is how they see you as well. So they feel like they have to rise up to that challenge or meet you on, on that same level. What is this person's true intentions towards Libra? What are their true intentions? Towards Libra. Who? Wheel of Fortune upright. So there, your person is definitely thinking about the right time, about how to how to change the situation here with you. How to turn this wheel around. Whatever this wheel currently is, whatever's going on with this wheel right now, where it's reversed. You know, it's like that your person's intention is to turn this around. And then bottom of the deck, I have justice. There you are. Libra energy. So this has to do with you. And it's like they want to make things right or speak the truth. So those are their intentions. So what actions? What actions will this person take towards you? This is one thing, like I told Gemini, it's one thing to have intentions. It's another thing to act on them. We can have all the best intentions in the world, but if we don't step up to the plate and act on those intentions, nothing will happen. Okay, so let's see. What actions will this person potentially take towards Libra? Okay. I believe these were... Mm, I'll leave them like this just because I don't <laughs> I don't want to twist the message if it's not meant to be that message but I have the lovers here in limbo Gemini energy this is all about a choice in love a choice in partner a decision that needs to be made and, and you know which way are you gonna go what will you let influence your, your decision more your head your heart your your mind or your feelings right logic or emotion um and then i have the nine of pentacles here another um earth sign here taurus virgo capricorn this is for me a virgo card but the sign's not the not the most important thing it's the energy of the cards the nine of pentacles when it's upright is someone that's again stable financially uh settled um independent and free when it's reversed, there's someone that is the opposite of that, not, not independent, not free. They're attached to something or someone, financially uh, dependent on someone possibly. Let's see. What actions will this person take towards Libra? What actions will this person take, Spirit? Whew. Ace of Pentacles. I don't know what is going on, but for Gemini as well, they got four aces <laughs> in their spread, and you have two here. Ace of Pentacles. So an offer is coming. Whatever this decision is, I feel like someone's going to make it. Let me just take a sip of my drink.
And again, I feel like they're trying to get their finances in order or their stability in order here. So let's clarify all of these. Spirit, help me clarify these energies for Libra, please. Clarify these energies for Libra. Let's start with this Page of Wands reverse at the top here. Why is the Page of Wands reverse? This is something that's not able to get started possibly delayed or just someone was you know they lost interest or motivation to keep going why is the page of wands reverse oh my gosh page of pentacles and then the five of cups interesting so this is how your person feels i think in their mind is what didn't happen what should have happened what could have happened how they could have made this work because i have the five of cups here which is all about regret remorse disappointment looking at the past that what didn't work out crying over spilled milk that whole thing so your person i feel is having regrets over possibly their approach to a situation over what has not taken place between you um whatever mistakes they would have made here So why is the wheel reverse? Tell me about the wheel of fortune reverse. Spirit, why is the wheel of fortune reverse? Oh my gosh, Peter wants. Again, more communication. We have two messengers here plus the ace of swords. And you know, I'm not one of those readers that just puts, oh my God, expect communication in the title just because. Um, I, I usually wait for something like this to happen where I have multiple confirmations that there's some sort of communication taking place. Okay. And I see that here, you know, your person, I feel, and I feel also, it's like, they want to get this started. They want to start turning this wheel. They want to, um, at least take the first steps towards changing things, changing the circumstances improving the circumstances and maybe that change starts with a conversation tell me about the wheel of fortune reverse you get one more for the wheel of fortune reverse please why is this here knight of pentacles reversed there's that finances again i keep thinking of finances when i see these cards which i know normally don't when it comes to pentacles i don't normally think of finances but you know i have four four pen, five pentacles here in this spread and i have a finances or a factor card so i cannot ignore it you know this knight of pentacles reverse for me as a reader he still makes it to his destination eventually it just takes forever there are a lot of obstacles in the way financial difficulties or um, they don't have the resources to make something happen quicker um, so I feel like your person is kind of figuring things out right now, trying to figure out how to improve their circumstances, how to change this wheel, how to overcome these obstacles with, you know, which are possibly financial for some of you. And again, the bottom of the deck, eight of wands. Movement. It's like your person wants to move quick or communicate quickly. So why is the nine of wands here? Why is the nine of wands here? And it's weird because um, I have very uh, bad cards here, quote unquote, bad cards. Uh, in the sense that they're uh, cards about challenges. Page of wands reverse, wheel of fortune reverse, nine of wands. Um, but I'm not feeling bad energy or difficult energy if that makes sense it's like i feel very like a very positive and light like a very light energy as i was shuffling i was like i feel so light right now which is kind of weird because this is it's almost like someone already knows how to handle whatever's coming their way and so they're not worried that kind of energy tell me about the nine of wands spirit why is the nine of wands here for libra the moon 
Pisces energy. Something hidden. Something could be an illusion. It could be fear, doubts, secrets. Interesting. Again, remember when I was putting down, I was explaining this card earlier and I said, someone could be telling themselves something, possibly deceiving themselves. I'm pretty sure I said that. And here's the moon. You know, something is not as it seems. And either someone is protecting themselves from that or trying to, it's almost like someone's pushing away or protecting themselves from this moon from what is hidden, almost like they don't want it to come to the surface, if that makes sense. Tell me more about this. Okay, that's too many. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands, please. Spirit, okay. That was gonna be up and it flipped at the end there. Two of Pentacles. This has to do, I feel like some, uh, who uh, your person, when it comes to um, their feelings for you, they're very back and forth because they're not being honest with themselves about something. They can't make up their mind. I have the strength card reversed at the bottom here, Leo energy, um, almost like a, like they're scared of whatever decision they need to make or scared to confront whatever this is. It's almost like they're trying to keep their emotions for you at bay. Um, and it's not working. <laughs> I just don't think, I just don't think it's working. You know, it could also be, um, for some of you that are watching that your person has not been completely upfront about what they really are hoping to do here. You know? Maybe because things didn't work out at first, they don't want to get their hopes up or they don't want to get your hopes up. Uh, maybe they want, again, it's like they want to make sure that everything is perfect or they are in a much better state. So let's keep clarifying. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a long reading. Oh no. <laughs> Tell me about the Ace of Swords. I was trying to keep these readings shorter than like around 25 minutes and oh, yours is not going to be like that Libra. <laughs> Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Yeah, Justice. They're, they want to communicate to make things right. There you are, Libra. They want to talk to you here. And I'm not just saying that, you know, it's, it's what the cards are saying here. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords reverse. Overcoming um, a mental prison, overcoming fear, doubt, seeing a way out. Someone opening up, taking off the blindfold. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. Four of swords. It's almost like there has not been either, a, there's been a pause or an interruption in this connection. And I feel like your person's intentions is to, Again, it's like thinking about how to deal with this, but also at the same time, while they're thinking about this, they might be ignoring their intuition or ignoring advice. They, they might be wanting to talk, but are being quiet right now. Thinking, reflecting. And I think it's because they're quietly working on something else. Most likely finances. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's this Wheel of Fortune about? Four of Cups. Interesting. 
being closed off to new opportunities. And just when I said that the fool will try to flip over. So I feel like your person wants to make a change because they don't want to miss an opportunity. Um, or they think if they don't act now, you're no longer going to be interested or look up for their cup. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Swords reverse. They might be asking for forgiveness or wanting to move on from whatever ending might have happened between you, whatever difficulty might have happened between you. Um, they could also be not wanting, you know, trying to resist an ending from happening here. For some of you here with the death card reversed at the bottom of the deck there. Scorpio energy. But this is all about, you know, it's, it's almost like they don't want things to end forever or something like that. So tell me about the Nine of Pentacles in Limbo here. What is this Nine of Pentacles about? Hangman reversed. Again, this they, they, they're refusing to let go of something or not able to see something from a different angle. Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, so this has to do with what didn't take place. And I have the Nine of Wands at, at the bottom reversed. So it's almost like they need to let go of this. This is probably a little block here for your person. This decision, this seeing things clearly. Either seeing how they, um, how their actions influence something or um, seeing this relationship clearly. How they feel about you too. Um, so I feel like they're, they're kind of, um, their actions, this is their actions here with the nine of pentacles. Um, I feel like when it comes to a new beginning, your person needs to switch their perspective. So if they want to have this ace of wands revert, like upright, they're going to need to switch their perspective and let something go here. Not be so guarded. Tell me about the lovers. What's this choice about here with the lovers? Ooh, tower. So that's probably why the choice is difficult for them because it's gonna cause a shakeup. Tell me more about the lovers. The sun reversed. Yeah, someone's gonna be unhappy or um, disappointed in whatever uh, decision your person makes. I don't know why. You would know better than me. But something about this decision will be disappointing to someone or shocking to someone. It's going to be a surprise. Um, I have the chariot at the bottom of the deck here. Uh, I think this is going to be something that you won't see coming. Whatever your person's um, actions are here with this decision, you're not expecting it with the tower and the sun reverse. It's like, there's no, you know, this is happening in the shadows kind of thing. And I'm also saying that because I have the moon up there. 